What's your best advice for somebody looking at their personal financial picture and wanting to put their house in order? Well, you never want to owe money you can't pay. I'm basically against debt. I mean, I, I, I think the average individual will live a lot happier life if they, if they avoid, they surely ought to avoid credit card debt. I mean, there's no reason in the world I mean, to pay 18% for money. I can't make money paying 18% for money. So why, why should people up and down the street, you know, do that? So avoid debt. If you have savings, and it's a good idea to have them, if you can have, just buy index funds and just buy them every month. And don't, never, don't listen to financial <laughs> advisors like me. In today's video, we're going to be talking about five easy steps endorsed by Warren Buffett that can set any poor person on the path to wealth in just a few months. Out of the five steps listed, there are three particularly crucial ones that could change your financial situation quickly if you start today. The difference between the wealthy and the poor stems from one common denominator, our habits. Whether good or bad, our habits play a crucial role in shaping our financial well-being. And that's where the big divide comes from. Think about it. If you give Warren Buffett and someone else $5,000 each, Buffett will probably turn it into a million faster. Not because he's lucky, but because he knows how to make smart money moves out of some really easy steps that he's trying to make us understand. Number one is develop a smart spending foundation. While many refer to Warren Buffett as the Oracle of Omaha and one of the most successful investors of all time, the truth is that he accumulated most of his wealth by following the right financial lifestyle. As a true sage, he understands the value of every dollar. And the amazing part of it all is that he developed this principle at a very young age. He was selling coke, newspapers, magazines, and gum by going door to door to his neighbors, all to understand the principles of how wealth and income generation are intertwined with modesty. Despite being one of the richest people on earth, he still prefers regular transport to a private business jet and lives in a modest house he bought almost 70 years ago instead of a mansion. As a matter of fact, he believes his life would be worse if he were so spendthrifty. If there's one thing we've learned from Warren Buffett, it's the fact that developing a healthy money habit can easily become the foundation of wealth, even if your pockets are empty at the moment. Not so long ago, Forbes released an interesting statistic claiming that 78% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. And that's only because most Americans, despite having a monthly budget in their mind, they always overspend it. Mr. Buffett encourages us all to plan for income and expenses, no matter how much we earn and spend. Guys, a million dollars is simply one dollar in a million notes. It may sound big on paper, but only a few bad financial decisions can squander it. So, always evaluate your future purchases in the number of hours it took you to make that money, rather than the note itself. So, from today, make sure you then figure out how much you earn per hour based on your monthly salary. Then, compare that to the price of the new Tesla that you want. For instance, if you make $3,500 a month and the new electric car you've been dreaming about costs $50,000, ask yourself if it's worth dedicating 2,283 hours of work to afford it. If your answer is no, which it should be, it might be a better idea to explore other ways to boost your income before committing to such a large expenditure. But speaking of developing a smart spending foundation, do you know what one of the greatest adversaries of our first step is? Here's a hint. It's something that the Oracle of Omaha has openly frowned about for decades. In fact, here's an old clip of his thoughts on it. And here's a more recent one. Make no mistake, guys. Credit cards are both assets and liabilities. On one hand, they allow you to establish a credit history, earn rewards, and offer fraud protection, which are beneficial aspects. But alas, they also encourage spending beyond your means, which can quickly become a financial burden, leading to potential obstacles and challenges. Take some time to sit down and crunch the numbers to determine how much you can realistically allocate towards paying off your credit card debts within a year. You might be surprised by the amount you uncover. This is why Warren Buffett suggests prioritizing cutting out this expense first. By doing so, you'll put an end to spending beyond your means and save a significant sum of money that could be better spent elsewhere, like investing. Number two, make your money work for you. Speaking of investments though, the second step that you need to take to set yourself on a path of wealth in only 12 months is to iron out your Benjamins and make them work for you. Sounds difficult, right? 
Well, not quite. You don't need tons of IQ in this business. I mean, you have to have enough IQ to get from here to downtown Omaha, but... Uh... And that's because making your money work for you all boils down to using your funds to generate more wealth over time. Although it might seem paradoxical at first, there are numerous financial strategies and decisions that can facilitate this goal. But you must have taken the first step towards developing a smart spending foundation. After all, Warren Buffett himself said that the first rule of an investment is don't lose money. And the second rule is don't forget the first. Losing your money is like putting water in a basket. You'll never have enough to make it work for you. So, after creating your budget, applying the work hour to expense ratio, and having your credit card expenses at a minimum level, the next step to take is putting your money to work. Instead of letting your savings sit idle, it's crucial for you to understand how to maximize your cash. Because while stashing cash away in a piggy bank might seem safe, inflation gradually erodes its purchasing power over time. To counteract this, consider moving your savings into a high-yield savings account where the interest earned can outpace inflation. However, if you're looking to grow your wealth, especially in the long run, simply saving is far from enough. There are several options for growing money, like making passive income from side hustles. Thanks to the rise of social media, there are now numerous avenues to attain financial stability and security. Opportunities such as online content creation, freelance writing, and part-time marketing gigs offer viable ways to earn extra income. Plus, you can start making lots of money every quarter through dividend stocks with a capital as small as $100. Now, as sad as this might seem, it will be impossible for you to ever make your money work if you don't keep your urges locked. Frequent in bars, restaurants, and pubs is a common pastime for many, particularly those on tighter budgets. However, splurging on dining and drinking out can pose a significant challenge to your personal finances. If your goal is to achieve wealth and financial freedom, it's advisable to forego these luxuries, especially during the initial stages of your journey. While socializing and enjoying oneself is essential for overall well-being, you can still maintain social connections and have fun by hosting gatherings at home instead. For instance, Warren Buffett prefers to play bridge instead of throwing expensive parties for himself or his loved ones and friends. This is the type of ideology that we need to emulate. Additionally, summer is only months away, and with it comes the latest tech releases from a lot of the big companies. But it's something that you should really be wary of. New gadgets can be enticing, thanks to the clever marketing strategies of the modern world. However, if your goal is to build wealth, it's essential to carefully evaluate your needs and capabilities before succumbing to the urge to purchase the latest product. Consider whether your current gadget still serves its purpose effectively, and if there's a genuine need for an upgrade. You may find that your existing device is still in excellent working condition, meaning there's no point in spending money. Warren Buffett, for instance, values practicality when it comes to technology. If he perceives that a product offers little to no significant improvement over what he already possesses, he wouldn't make that purchase. Number 3. Have a good circle. Have you ever heard the saying, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are? Step number three, which is having a good circle, exemplifies this. You know, the most important thing, uh, aside from the things I've talked about already, is, is really who you associate with. You want to associate with people that are better than you are. I mean, basically, you'll go in the direction of the people that you associate with. And Despite being one of the richest people on earth, money isn't the metric Warren Buffett uses to measure success. Rather, it's the company he keeps around him. During a talk at Columbia University in 2017 alongside Bill Gates, a student inquired about any significant life lessons that the pair had, and the Oracle of Omaha again elaborated that it's important to associate with people that are better than yourself. After Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's longtime partner and collaborator for nearly six decades, passed away at the age of 99, Warren Buffett himself said that Berkshire Hathaway could not have been built to its present status without Charlie's inspiration, wisdom, and participation. And yeah, he was absolutely right. Despite being seven years younger than Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger helped him develop the killer mentality and winning streak that Buffett has today. Under their stewardship, Berkshire Hathaway achieved an impressive annual average gain of 20.1% from 1965 through 2021 
nearly doubling the pace of the S&P 500 index. This remarkable track record of compounded returns not only made Buffett and Munger billionaires, but also elevated them to the status of folk heroes among devoted investors. And guess what? Munger was also the one who evolved Mr. Buffett's ideology as an investor beyond the teachings of their mentor, Benjamin Graham. While Graham emphasized buying stocks below their intrinsic value, Munger's influence encouraged Buffett to consider broader investment philosophies and factors beyond mere asset valuation. Even the concept of buying truly wonderful businesses was championed by Munger. So, if you're looking to accelerate your path to financial success and potentially get rich within the next 12 months, take a page out of Warren Buffett's playbook. Surround yourself with friends and advisors who challenge and inspire you to reach new heights, just as Buffett did with Charlie Munger. But hey, even if you don't have anyone around you, you can always seek out and learn from mentors who possess the wisdom, experience, and success that you inspire to achieve, just like Warren Buffett. He's advising you right now, and you've got to listen. By learning from his insights and incorporating his principles into your own financial strategy, you'll be better equipped to navigate the complexities of investing and entrepreneurship, ultimately increasing your chances of attaining wealth and prosperity in a relatively short period of time. However, this step seamlessly goes hand in hand with the next step on our list. Number four, invest in yourself. Have you ever wondered why Warren Buffett said this? Well, I, uh, by far the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, uh, for example, communication skills. If they just learn to communicate better, in, both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. Well, that's because one of the biggest mistakes that all poor people make is neglecting their personal development. They never upgrade their skills, and that's why they earn so little. You see, employers prioritize individuals with existing knowledge and skills, as they often lack the resources or time for extensive training. Consequently, they are willing to offer competitive salaries to those who can immediately contribute to their organization's goals. Plus, investing in personal development serves as the perfect hedge against job losses, especially during times of economic uncertainty like the widespread job losses seen in 2024. As you probably already know, companies are usually forced to trim their workforce during periods of economic downturn. But this usually plays into the hands of those with value because companies are almost always reluctant to let go of those who can adapt to multiple roles, challenges, and responsibilities. So you see, by upgrading your skills and obtaining quality education, you can become more versatile and adaptable, making you an indispensable asset to your employer. But hey, the importance of this step goes beyond the job market. Remember how we talked about growing your money tree in step two? To do this effectively, you'll have to understand the intricacies of your desired field. Take stock investing, for example. You'll need to invest in yourself by taking your sweet time every day to read the latest news and developments in your stock industry. If seasoned veterans like Warren Buffett watch the news and read business papers every day, why shouldn't you? Number five, think value, think long term. When it comes to investing, there are numerous strategies and approaches available to investors. One particularly successful method over the long term is value investing. And make no mistake, it is a fifth step you need to take to become wealthy. Warren Buffett once said that stocks are very safe for the long run and very unsafe for tomorrow. And that's where the long-term value investing comes in. It's a strategy that entails spotting companies that the market undervalues and investing in them in the expectation that their actual value will be recognized over time, leading to an appreciation in their stock prices. Investing with a long-term perspective offers a multitude of advantages to investors, starting with the principle of compounding effect, a concept that Warren Buffett himself often emphasizes. This phenomenon allows even modest returns, like $100, to snowball over time when reinvested, creating exponential growth in wealth. Secondly, adopting a long-term mindset encourages diversification, another cornerstone of successful investing, according to Buffett's philosophy. By spreading their investments across various asset classes and sectors, investors can mitigate risk and minimize the impact of any individual misjudgment or any underperforming asset on their overall portfolio. Think of it as a safety net, providing resilience against market volatility and unexpected events. 
And don't even get us started on how investing in value over the long term drastically reduces dreadful decisions made from an emotional standpoint. You see, strong emotions such as fear, greed, and panic can often lead investors astray, causing them to make impulsive decisions based on short-term market fluctuations or sensationalized news headlines. However, by maintaining a focus on the long-term prospects of their investments, investors can avoid being swayed by transient market noise and stay on course towards their financial goals. So you see, by adopting a long-term perspective in investing aligned with Warren Buffett's timeless principles, you will be setting yourself on course to wealth accumulation and financial success over the next 12 months, although the full rewards will only come later. But please, make sure you never fall into the trap of get-rich-quick Ponzi schemes or gambling. Recent statistics suggest that 2.5 million adults in the U.S. meet the criteria of having a severe gambling problem. And although it may seem like a shortcut to increasing wealth, these short-term wealth options can wreck you completely. Many people have even gotten burned to the tune of millions, and you can't afford to be that way. Never forget that while cash notes can be made from trees, wealth never grows on them.